simplifying sides, right sine of 45 in the form 1 divided by root of a, where a is a positive integer. Hence, simplify root of a divided by 1 plus sine of 45 degrees, leaving the answer in the third form. So that is the question. Let's go straight to the solution. Now we are required to write sine of 45 in this form, in the form 1 over root of a. So to do this, we are going to use an isosceles, an isosceles right angled triangle. That is what we are going to use. We are going to sketch it here. So this is how it should be so it has got sides 1 1 and uh, this is uh, 45 degrees this one should be 45 degrees then this side the hypotenuse should be root of 2 this is the triangle that is going to help us to obtain the sign of 45 written in the root form so according to this you can use any angle you can use um, either this angle that is here 45 or the other angle so let me use one of them so if I write uh, sine of 45 and I'm using this triangle here to obtain the sine how do you obtain the sine you obtain the sine by getting this ratio opposite over uh, the hypotenuse opposite of the hypotenuse so if I consider this angle that is here uh, down here uh, opposite side is 1 then the hypotenuse is uh, root of 2 so I have written now sine of 45 degrees in form of sad that is 1 divided by root of 2 so what I've used is the isosceles right angle triangle now after doing that now let me go to the solution having that now I can now work out this root of 8 uh, root of 8 divided by 1 plus sine of 45 so I'll simply substitute this 1 plus sine of 45 is uh, what I've just obtained here 1 divided by root 2 so 1 divided by root of 2 now to work out this we are going to rationalize the denominator so rationalize the denominator by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator so this is how you're going to rationalize this so we obtain the conjugate of the denominator the conjugate of the denominator is the denominator as you can see is 1 plus 1 of uh, root of 2 so the conjugate will be 1 subtract 1 divided by root of 2 so the conjugate is just the denominator with only this sign changed if it is a uh, negative the conjugate will be positive if it is positive the conjugate will be negative so this is the conjugate now we need now to multiply to rationalize the denominator we need now to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by that conjugate so we take root of it multiply by conjugate of the denominator then we go to the denominator we multiply again by the denominator is a positive the conjugate is that once we do that we can multiply the numerator root 8 multiply by 1 is root 8 subtract root of 8 multiply by 1 of um, root 2 this will give root 8 divided by root of 2 everything divided by now when you look at the 
denominator this one is a difference of two squares and this is what we get one squared subtract one over root of two squared this one is a difference of two squares you just need to recall just need to recall this that a plus b a minus b is given by a squared minus b squared and that, that is what we've used uh, to obtain this so now let's go to the numerator we've got a uh, root of 8 now we can simplify a root of 8 a root of 8 can be simplified further root of 8 can be written as uh, 4 multiplied by 2 you can write uh, that one like that then root of 4 is a uh, 2 root so root of it can be simplified to 2 root 2 uh, so that is what you should go with so here uh, from this uh, stage here we have root of 8 which will be now you are not going to write root of 8 we shall write uh, 2 root 2 um, subtract root of 8 so 2 root 2 then divided by root 2 so as you can see root of 8 is what I have written here is um, 2 root 2 then uh, in this one root of 8 divided by root of 2 is what you have here so everything divided by uh, this is 1 squared which is 1 subtract 1 divided by root 2 squared 1 divided by root 2 squared means 1 divided by root 2 1 divided by root 2 which will give 1 uh, divided by root of 4 and this will simplify to this will simplify to a half since the root of 4 is 2 so here we shall have a half now we can simplify this so we should have 2 root 2 subtract as you notice here uh, this one will divide so therefore we shall have two then everything divided one minus a half is a half now at this stage now um you can divide each term two root two divided by a half will give um four root two then two divided by a half that all gives um, 4. I repeat, you just simply take um, 2 root 2 divided by a half, you get 4 root 2, then subtract 2 divided by a half, you get 4. And this is now the answer in the simplest form. So that is how you're supposed to solve that question.